See this? See this? I didn't break the pan to get there. Hi guys! Today I'm here with all the juice on how to shop on AliExpress. I mean, if you can get good stuff and still save money, why not? Today I'm going to be telling you tips on how to make sure you're buying quality things while paying less. The first thing you need to do is download the AliExpress app, whether you're using an iPhone, whether you're using an Android, download the AliExpress app on your phone. Don't shop on the website. Register into your account, maybe sign in with your Google account, sign in with whatever account you want to sign in with. It's safe, it's like signing up for any every other app. So sign up, sign into their app, have an account in their app. That's that's my number one tip for you. Now you've downloaded the app, sign into the account. And my first tip is going to be that make sure you're choosing the correct location. Make sure you're choosing the correct location. For instance, you're living in Nigeria. Make sure your location is Nigeria. Don't make it like maybe you're putting US or you're putting China or you're putting um, United Kingdom. Let me give you an instance. I used to live in Nigeria, so my AliExpress account is set to Nigeria account. Then I moved to the UK, so I didn't change my location to UK. So let me let me give you where the error can be there. When I go on AliExpress to search for the things I want to buy. It's going to give out bring out different options for me of the items you can easily see what you have to pay shipping fee on and what you don't have to pay shipping fee on some sellers that don't ship to some countries so as my location is nigeria it's going to bring out every item that is eligible to ship to nigeria for me so when i click on an item let's say for instance i already got an item that i want to buy and i'm ready to check out if i don't do the proper check because i'm already used to aliexpress i detect the errors but for someone that is a newbie you, you might not detect the error easily or you might make you might make the mistake of actually paying to that address or even when you don't make the mistake there are some times that then when you're about to check out and you put in the right location right your right address then you have this huge shipping fee on some item that's because maybe ordinarily the seller does not ship to the United, to the uk but because you set your account to your location to nigeria and they actually ship to nigeria so when you try to place an order the shipping fee is going to be so much and you're going to get discouraged so we're all about the don't get discouraged like this that's about the location so make sure your location is set to the correct place so before i forget let me mention about the shipping the default option for shipping on aliexpress is by your local local shipping method in whatever country you're choosing so whether you're in nigeria it needs to be like night post if you're in the uk for instance it's going to be real meal so it depends on what the local shipping company is in whatever country you're staying so but you also have the option of upgrading what kind of shipping service you have you can either go by dhl but they usually have other shipping options more faster shipping options because if you're shipping by the local post office it is usually slow so it takes about like two to three months there's sometimes that it's really fast and you get it in like maybe what you're buying is expensive or is large item so you might get it in like maybe within a month or a couple of weeks more but usually the standard shipping time for aliexpress is two to three months and anything more than three months for me it is already just forget about it if it's more than three months so just make sure your location is set correctly because then all the items that will be coming up on your search list is going to be they are going to be items that can deliver to nigeria and if they cannot be delivered to wherever your location is it's going to be clearly stated there that it cannot be delivered or it's not even going to come it really comes up any item that cannot be delivered to where you're staying is not going to come up on your search list so it really comes up except maybe you're seeing the item under and i like you know how you click on an item and there's other suggested item so maybe you're clicking on it on other suggested items then you can see there that we, then you can see there that okay this item is not able to ship to your location but on that search page when you type whatever you want items that are going to be coming out are going to be items that can deliver to your location only the setup might be different i'm sorry for that i had to charge my battery i don't have an extra one so i have so i was talking about what aliexpress shipping is you don't need any middleman middleman for shipping the seller ships it to your address whatever address that you've written there like some china sites now you have to get in like a middleman like so you don't need that for aliexpress you just need to put your address pay for the item if you need to pay for shipping it's going to be written there and if it is free shipping it's going to be there so you check out and you expect a either you have it delivered to your house if you live in a country that is going to get it 
it depends on where you live you can either have it delivered to your house or for instance if you live in somewhere like nigeria you're going to have it delivered to post office and post office is going to make sure the number you're putting there is an active number so in, in case you get it delivered to the post office you get a message on your phone or whatever however way the post office decides to contact you it might be a call it might be a message to let you know that they've received your item to come and pick it up so make sure your the phone you're using is an active phone and if you're living in nigeria i can only speak about nigeria and uk in the uk if you order you get it delivered to your house directly so you don't need to go to the post office or anything but in nigeria if you if you if you order you have to pick it up from the post office so make sure the post office you're using is somewhere close to your house or somewhere close to where you can easily pick it up yourself that you don't have to travel down to a particular location to pick it up so if, say for instance you are in school maybe you live in a different state and you school in a different state if you feel like you're mostly in school it's better to use a post office that is going to get it delivered to your school not where you live about the item that you're actually buying now guys when you're picking an item make sure you read through the lines check the dimensions if you're not sure what the dimension is message the seller there's usually an option there to contact the seller message the seller to ask them what the dimension is so i've opened an item on my app now so on that item when you click on the item you're going to have a picture like this that's the picture of the item and there's the description of the item and down the item there's going to be specifications so in that specifications if if it's something that has to do with dimension that like you need to know the dimension maybe like for instance a, a mirror or you're buying a a fake plant for instance now you need to know what the dimension is so the dimension is going to be it's going to usually it's going to be here usually okay so if it is not there when you scroll down the page there is further description like an elaborate description of the item you get to get the dimensions there see if you are seeing like a big centimeter of something if you're not sure about that size put it in perspective in your house get a meter rule or a tape rule or something to get an idea to like to get to really get an idea of what the item is what the size of it is for instance if you're buying these things when they put it on the table is you you think it's like it is something so big but when you actually read dimension and everything you are able to put the picture more in perspective because those pictures are like at close range so they make the item look so so big so if you um, check the dimensions and everything you're sure of what you're buying and if it meets the specification of what you want so what i usually do is when i take my meter roll i check it out on maybe on an item that i have before for instance if i have a small mirror if i want to buy a bigger mirror or something so i'm going to check that dimension i'm seeing on the aliexpress site compare it to the dimension of what i already have it might not even be a mirror it might be a bottle or something just anything just to make sure just to confirm to confirm what the length or what the height of what you're buying is so that you it will not come and it will not be like it is something that is the size size of your palm do you get me so make sure you read through the lines and check for the dimensions okay don't be scammed don't become the Ali express make sure you open your eyes and there are actually some things that I'll, I'll insert pictures of some items that a particular vest that I've been seeing like if you see the picture of this this vest it looks like something that is as big as this but in actual sense it's like the size of my palm if you find if it's okay by you if that is what you're looking for fine buy it but if that's not what you're looking for run says so i'm saying check your dimensions carefully like really really well like you're not just checking the height or anything you're checking this height the width the depth this make sure you check it correctly another important thing to know when you're shopping at aliexpress is if it is something you need very urgently like if you need it urgently aliexpress is not the place for you to shop check other sites maybe check ebay or amazon or wherever else you can buy it or your local shops and markets but if you want it like next day or next three days or within a week aliexpress is not the way even when to, i'm going to say even when like there are some items that you're actually buying from aliexpress they're like big items and they kind of like try shipping there in like within a week maybe the things that they actually ship out like within a week and you're going to get it within a week still if it is what you need urgent um don't trust that one week because it might not be one week anything could happen there could be a delay there could be anything don't stick to that one week so if it's something you need urgently 
don't don't go to aliexpress or if it is like you've planned ahead and it's something that you will be needing in the future yes aliexpress is the way or it is something that if you don't get in the next one week or you don't get in the next two months it is not affecting you that's fine you can shop on aliexpress but if you need it urgently no don't do it don't go to aliexpress because you might be disappointed not all the time that you get disappointed other times i've even gotten my items quicker than i expect but you don't know what is going to happen so it's better not to risk such things and just shop for things that you don't need urgently so that there's no disappointment another thing to note when you're shopping on aliexpress is maybe there are some really fragile things that you want to shop for instance let's say a full length mirror personally i won't i won't invest my money in buying a full length mirror from aliexpress i would rather buy it from any other stores that are around me that can get it delivered than shop on aliexpress this is because it's a long distance from wherever it is from china to wherever you are maybe you live in i guess people that live in places like singapore and the likes they get their items they, they can order for these larger items anything can happen to you before it gets to you stick to the end of this video to get the tea on how you can actually like you can risk some items and if anything happens you're still safe do you get so such items like that personally i stay clear of them i don't order for anything but guys you can order literally anything from aliexpress you can order your bed recently what i've been checking for is led lights to film that's what i've been checking for if i have more than one of these i'm definitely going to order from aliexpress i'm going to order led lights from aliexpress you can order anything you can order your tripod well not your, well i don't know I wanted to say not your camera, but guys, I've done the wildest thing on AliExpress. I've ordered a phone on AliExpress. Can you believe that? And it was fine. It was perfect. It was okay. You just have to be able to take the risk. The phone was not cheap, but it was cheap compared to what the market was. And I ordered it. Everything was okay. So anything, just think about it. Anything. There's nothing I can order from AliExpress. I see these verses. Let me show you. Let me show you these vases. They are like these are like dupes to the popular H&M vases that they make. These are like dupes to them. And these things, eh? They are as good as. I mean, I'm just putting them. They're decorative pieces. So if I can get this at a cheaper price, why not? Why pay for the expensive one? Is this particular um vase that I've been seeing around? This one of um a female anatomy, oh, anatomy. like the sh um, the shape of a a female body. That shape, that cup shape with the no physique. I be what's it called? <laughs> I will insert a picture of it, whatever it is, if you get what I mean. So there's this particular one that is like I didn't buy it, but I know they sold this for like there's like this popular designer whoever that dropped it that released it. They sold this for like 300 pounds. If you've gone at the express, you're going to get something similar to it. It's the only difference that I would say that you might have is it might be smaller compared to what the original is but it is dupe if it's if some, someone that's never seen the original they are never going to know that what you have is a dupe it is someone that knows what the original looks like that will know that what you have is a dupe so it might be smaller it might be not not is i'm not it's not going to be like small small for instance the size of this thing this is what the original looks like the dupe might be something like this size down like that that might be what you get for the dupe so i don't see why i'm not going to buy it because it's, they're just decorative pieces even well some people some people shop for their clothes on aliexpress and i actually love to shop for, you know this um korean style outfit and everything they really look nice they have them on aliexpress it's like winter jackets and all of these things they shop on aliexpress and you get good quality like it's from china because all of these brands as well personally i think they all come from china they all make their they all have their manufacturing companies in china so why can't i buy it from a retailer in China that can sell to me too, there needs to be quality I think. So my next tip is this: like if you are if you are a bargain hunter like me, if you hunt for bargain like me, is that's the way you shop on whether you're shopping online or shopping in store, it's usually like that. When you're shopping, like when you find an item that you like, you don't just pay for it. I hunt for other alter like I see what other sellers are offering as well. You get it in a cheap in a cheaper price 
or you might get it in a better size for instance when i'm buying my scarves this is not from aliexpress but i shop most of my scarves from aliexpress so for instance if i find a seller that is selling a particular dimension that i'm like okay i can work with this dimension maybe this particular length i can work with this length that's fine by me because i own for variety when i shop i get a different seller that is offering a better length than what i was going to just settle for like okay i can work with this so because I have variety, I can choose, okay, this is perfect length for me, this is... So when you shop, I'd, either you add them to your wish list. I'm going to show you how you add an item to your wish list. It's, I'm going to put it somewhere on the screen. So either you... Either you add it to your wish list or you add it to your basket. Then when you're done, you can actually filter through and see, okay, this is what you buy. So when you, Let me show you. So now I'm going to just open up my screen. I'm going to open my screen and show you how to add an item into wish list. So when you search for an item, click on the item that you want. I'm going to click on this item. Click on the item that you want. And there is this little small hat shape just underneath it. So you can click on that. It's to your... The hat shape is on the right side. So you can click on that. When you click on that, that it has added it to your wish list. And you can add it directly to your cart. There's just a add to cart under the page so you can add it directly to your cart instead of adding it to wish list but most of time i add it to my wish list so when i've already filtered through it and i know what i want to pick at the final stage then i'll add it to my cart and the ones that i don't want i just delete them so as not to get confused because i might have seen something it might be that the price is actually cheap but i might have seen something in the review or in the description that i'm not fine with so if i leave it there i might get confused it might get confusing with the one i actually want so the ones that i don't want i just remove them i just take them away from my wish list straight away so that i don't mix it up if the item is there are sometimes that the price of the item is actually ridiculously cheap like ridiculously cheap don't do it no matter how much you feel like buying it don't do it the chances that you're going to get like okay everything on aliexpress is cheap but for instance i've already i have a collection of of the same item but from different seller that i'm comparing so let's say there's this particular seller that is very very cheap like ridiculously cheap because still personally as i go through the um same options that I have and still go for the cheapest one cheapest one at the best quality so it might not be that it is the cheapest price or the one that I'm going to get the best quality at the least price to get so if you if you, if you have an, a seller that is ridiculously cheap like the price difference is so drastic compared to your other sellers that the other sellers that you've seen don't do it I'm not going to advise you to do it unless maybe you are a pro on Aliexpress or something don't buy it. Don't buy those ridiculously cheap ones compared to the price of the item on the site actually. So that is that. So another tip that I'm going to give is when you're shopping like multiple items, maybe for instance you're ordering for scarves with different colors. When you're shopping on AliExpress, you only have the chance. I'm going to show you on my phone. So I'm going to use a scarf in this instance. This scarf for instance. This is the scarf that I want. But when you want to shop for multiple items on Aliexpress, you can only pick one color. For instance, let's say I have these scarves up on my screen now. So let's say, for instance, I want two colors of two different colors of these scarves. But you have an you only have an option to pick one of these scarves. So for, in this case, I picked black. But I want two. I want maybe a white as well. I cannot pick it. Once you click on white, it deselects the black one that you've picked. So in this instance, I'm going to click on any of the colors that I want and inputs the quantity that i want there so i've input the quantity there that's two point two of it then i'm going to add that to my cart so once i add it to my cart and about to check out this is it so just somewhere here you have a note to seller so there you can you can tell the seller that you want two different colors not the color in no uh, let's say for instance black is zero one and white is zero two so you're going to say you want this scarf i want this scarf in two different colors and you put the colors in color 01 black and check out so there's a note to the seller there that this is what you want and just for extra assurance i don't usually do this but to give you that peace of mind that you've actually done it you can message the seller right away after you've paid for the item so confirm the colors that you've picked that you've selected again to them that these are the colors that you want in the chat they reply their chat they might not reply immediately but they usually get back to their message i think that's because of time difference and everything so they get back to the messages and they get back to you and 
some seller skip in touch lets you know when they've shipped out the item but even if they don't aliexpress automatically notify you with whatever email you've registered with they automatically notify you when your items have been shipped that is that on the color so i'm going to go out and i'm going to go out from this checkout space if you guys noticed originally when it was one it was free shipping but the moment i increased it to two it's changed the shipping fee changed so i have to pay a particular amount over shipping so in this circumstance what i usually do is i just order it differently so pick one add it to cart pick another one add it to cart so i'm i'm buying it as single items not as multiple items they are still going to get delivered at the same time because you're paying for it at the same time and they are going to the same address they're going to get, get delivered at, at the same time it's just that you're not going to be paying for the shipping fee so that's another tip hi guys so i've had to split the video into two because it was too long so the other video contains if you're interested in shopping on aliexpress for your business and how to apply for a refund when you don't get your order or you've received a faulty order how to apply for a refund so i have that in the other video by the time this video is uploaded the other one will be uploaded as well so you can watch it all together thank you